Hello, it's Keith from K-Mage Corner. How are you doing today? Yes, yes, I am back. Episode number 20. Yes, we have made it to the second decade of double digits. 20 videos on K-Mage Jams. And this is Keith for K-Mage Corner. And just a reminder, Jams is just another Minecraft series. And that's what we're doing. And um, 1.9 is coming out soon, so we are preparing to convert this world to 1.9. <laughs> Even maybe by the time this video comes out, 1.9 is already out, but you know, I'm running a little ahead. So uh, I might be a week behind on the conversion to 1.9, but that's another story. But you see that thing behind us? Yes. We are going to conquer it. Take it down. Yes, we are going to take the temple down. One of my favorite blocks of all time it is in that temple. And I want access to that block on a regular basis. I have a project in mind. And I want access to these green blocks and the light block. I forget the, even what it's called. The light from the temple, uh, the white light, the crystal shard, I don't know what it's called, but that's what we are here for. We are going to take down the, the papas of the temple, the uh, big serpents, I don't really remember what they're called, but we're going to kill all three of them so they don't kill us with mining fatigue. We're going to drain the temple, then we're going to make a big hole in this ocean and make a farm so we have access to these blocks that we want in this temple so I guess I'm gonna get some potions together I am gonna take the temple I've taken a temple already on cam so what I think I'm gonna do is speed up the footage and just tell you what's going on um, after the fact you know with the footage that I do as I take it because it takes uh, a fair amount of time to kill all the the demons of a temple and I don't want to have to put that put you guys through that again so I'm just gonna speed up the footage and tell you what's going on so without further ado here we go all right so make sure you take your armor off get rid of anything extra to take this temple might need some wood because I'm gonna use some wood to mark the rooms that I've already been in because one thing that gets a little confusing is which temples are confusing. There's a lot of weird rooms and stuff. Um, so you can get kind of lost. So I'm just going to go through the front door, get my mining fatigue, and I am just placing blocks down for the rooms I'm going. And basically the general thing is go to the right. Always go to the right. And all we are doing is looking for the Elder Guardian and maybe um, some of the sponge rooms so I can drain this area. But as you see, the guardians don't even see me because of the invisibility. And here we go. Elder Guardian number one, he dropped the sponge. Thank you very much. Keep marking. Got to look for the other two. Draining these long hallways are kind of sucky, but part of the job of draining a temple <laughs> but you won't see the draining because I'm just looking for the elder oh number two kill 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 sponge number two haven't seen a sponge room yet but usually they're up top and I'm going from the bottom so we're just gonna check out all the other rooms make sure the whole place is checked out before we leave and um, it's very difficult to try and capture uh, uh, taking over a temple like this in a video because it is really kind of boring. It's kind of like you'd think the final end dragon fight would be something that would be really exciting and fun, but in all actuality, it turned out to be turns out to be a little boring and not as fun and it doesn't come across on camera that well that's the same thing with the temple here 
Um, it's exciting to do, but it's really not the best thing to put on YouTube. So speeding it up like this is kind of an easy get around to making an interesting video um, and capture the killing of the Elder Guardians. And at this time, I had totally forgotten that the last Elder Gardens, Guardian, or there's always one in the center high room. And, oh, yeah, we got one of these rooms. I uh, was blessed having three sponge rooms in this particular temple. And even when I'm done with this temple, I am going to go get sponges out of other temples because I do want a good 10 or 12 stacks of sponges. Oh, here's the last Elder Guardian. We have conquered the temple. So, little food and a uh, little make sure that I've searched everywhere. And we kind of have to wait till my mining fatigue is over with. Because the best way to get out of a temple like this is to use a pickaxe on the sidewall and just swim out. And... Because these things are so confusing, it's hard to really find the entrance to them. So, that's what I do. I'm just waiting for the mining fatigue to go away, and I'm just going to poke a hole. There we go. Poke a hole. Let's get the hell out of here. And that is the taking of a temple. Pretty easy to do, especially with the potions. And I'll be right back at normal speed again. Alright guys. I have taken the temple as you see in the footage. And I have actually dried it out. Check this out. We are all dried out. Let's go ah, through the temple. We have certain doors in different areas. But it is all dried. Here, Here's the main room. That's where the gold was. And, um, so, with all these rooms, you know, cleaned out, dried up, I found, uh, he may be, oh, well, there's water there, but there's an exit. Um, basically what I do is once I kill the three Elder Guardians, I dig holes through the top of the temple down through looking for the sponge rooms here's another hole that I dug from the top just to clean everything out um, and to find the sponge rooms it's another hole I dug and another one I kinda dug right there and I plugged them up with spruce just temporary I'm gonna take this whole building down but um, yeah this is what the temple looks like without water in it and but it's coming down soon because um, we aren't going to keep any of the structure I don't think I think I'm just gonna have a big hole um, in the ocean what's this is this just another do I have any no I could probably clean that out a little bit better uh, maybe one more sponge here might clean that out. Another hole to the ceiling. I don't know how many of you people realize this, but these prismarine blocks, they change colors. From the green to the purple, and I think that's really cool. Right now it's going to the green shade. I'll point it out when it goes back to the purple. But this is um, basically all taken, and... Now we're going to go on to the next phase of the uh, demolition of this place and tear it apart. Um, basically, I am going to use glass again all on the outside of the building. Let me get out of here real quick. I want to get away. I'm not invisible. Or even have... Um, potions with me right now the key to taking a temple let me see if I can stand here without drowning the key to taking a temple is you need your water breathing you need an invisibility 
take off all your armor except for your depth charges reboots and sometimes if you really want to see everything take a night vision potion with you um, the night vision is not necessarily needed but it's a good thing to have um, I take it just in case and what I was doing when I was draining the temple of all the water on the inside was there was three rooms of sponges in there and so I have um, about a stack and a half of sponge so I was taking each room at a time and a stack and a half will do a fair amount of the fortress Actually, I think I used the stack and a half four or five times place one take it right away because you'd end up forgetting it um, then bring it over here make sure you have a whole bunch of things to dry out your sponges with and just sit here for a couple minutes while eight sponges per each one of these um, ovens dried out you know got the rest of the potions ready and go after go back in there and drain some more and come back out dry them out go back in drain some more and I did it all invisible without armor and with water breathing potions and I probably used 12 potions um, 12 8 minute potion lengths to drain the the, um, the temple and now the uh, the glass part I'm gonna go uh, diagonally one block from the edge of each corner of the temple have a block in between the edge of the temple and where my glass wall will go then build my glass wall up and then I'm gonna have to drain the outside of the temple last time I did my series this is where the series ended because my computer crashed I was midway through draining a temple and my uh, computer crashed and I have this the world still on my hard drive my old um, video series still on my other hard drive but I can't turn the computer on to go get it yet and when I get the computer fixed I'll have my old world whether or not I'll go back to it or not I don't know now because is the world not relate relatable anymore because I have this KMA jams thing going but that's uh, something for the future so um, I'm gonna work on draining this a little bit uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get the whole thing drained in this particular episode um, but that's the next project and if you're wondering I have a nether tunnel thing to the Mesa where I get my um, sandstone and stuff and it's like 77,000 blocks away let's see yeah the Z coordinate 7330 and um, it's out this is out near my Mesa so this will be where my farm is I was a little worried it's a little close to the shore here, but I don't think that's going to matter. Plus, this temple, I think, is a little bit higher than others, so it's not going to take as long to drain, I don't think. But draining a temple is no fun. It's a little tedious, and um, it's not probably going to be finished before the end of this episode. We're going to do some work and show you what I'm doing with it. All right, guys, so I need some uh, sand to put some glass around the big-time... Um, water temple thing nah. dang it and um there's also going to be a change to the series that's why i am bringing you to the sand pit once again because i guess this is where i need to talk to you guys right now today it is a day it is tuesday the 23rd of February um, you guys will probably see this video in two to three weeks but on the 25th Mojang 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 hi little felt you, you don't want to play do you then you um, they're releasing oh no wonder why I can't sprint anymore they're releasing 1.9. Good, it's almost daytime. What's that? Oh, that's my grinder. So, <laughs> that thing you can barely see over there is going to be another project. After I'm done with this water temple, you'll see 
what that's gonna be in a little while. In a couple of weeks. But anyways, on Thursday, 1.9 is being released. And guess what? It's usually when, um, uh, in the past... Hey. I'm killing you with my shovel. Usually in the past, when, um new versions of the game comes out I start a new series and end an old series um, but this I'm gonna stop that and um, hey and I am gonna stay in this world but I'm gonna update the world to 1.9 so that's what I'm going to do. This world is going to uh, turn into a 1.9 world. Um, I don't want to delete this world because, honestly, I've gone through so many different worlds trying to do this YouTube Minecraft thing that it's been kind of annoying for the people who actually do watch me. So um, I'm going to start over again because I usually tend to make it to 15, 20 episodes and and then I lose interest and I start over and go, well, I don't like how this world's gonna go. But, um, you know, I, this particular place that I'm working on, now it's 10,000 blocks away from the water temple. And, you know, there's a lot of places in between where I can just start over if I wanted to. And eventually the stuff I get sick of, like if I get sick of the tree farm and R2-D2, I don't have to actually start over in the world, I can just start working in another area. So I've decided to forego starting a new world and switching this over to 1.9, which has been my basic goal for a long time here. Um, so this is going to be the last video in 1.8. Unless for some reason I can't record with 1.9. Um, I'm not going to be able to run Optifine because I don't think it's going to be um, ready for 1.9 when 1.9 comes out. But that's okay too. I only run Optifine to make things look a little bit better. Uh, my frame rates are usually pretty damn good without Optifine. I just use it just so I don't have to worry about any weird spikes. So there may be some spikes. I know some of the snapshots have been very computer usage intensive and I'm hoping that's going to be a little fixed but my computer is much better than it was a year ago so I'm not too worried about my computer not going to be able to handle it. I need a garbage pan, so I got a lot of crap in here I don't want to keep. Um, so yeah, this is it for, I don't want any of you either. This is it for 1.8, oh, this this video, yeah, next one, 1.9, I've been kind of psyched about 1.9, um, it does change the gameplay around a lot, which is kind of scary, because I'm so used to playing the way the game is now, um, but I've gone through the changes ever since, I mean, by god, when I first started playing this game, there was no hunger bar, uh, you didn't have to put ladders on every single block. You could space them every other block and climb up ladders just as well as you can right now. Um, there was no jungles. <laughs> there was no... There, so I, I've gone through a lot of changes with the game. Um, so 1.9 is just another stretch of those changes, except for the, um, I think the fighting aspect is going to be a little different. I mean, right now I could have three or four creepers blow up in my face and I'd probably only lose two or three hearts because I'm so OP in this. Um, and I think the changes might um, crack that. I did play a little bit of 1.9 with um, the snapshot world with Athens. Um, and I thought it was fun. It was quite different. But it was also quite fun. It brought more of uh, the challenge to the game. Which is great. Um, for the survival aspect. And I say this. Speak, speaking of challenges. I say this. And um, between the last clip and this clip. I did die <laughs> by accident. I was trying to get a good picture inside the. Um, inside my. 
water temple of all the spawn guardians and I had forgotten I've been so used to working with this the water temple with um, a breathing potion I forgot that I didn't have one and I went way down to the bottom of the ocean and drowned to death because once I realized I had no water potion it was like oh shit where am I gonna go so I actually died right before this clip um, which is no biggie. wonder how many deaths that brings me to. I forget how to check achievements. No statistics. Um, where is deaths? It's, I've got to be looking at it. Since, time since last death. 0.73 hours. Mob kills 3300. Where's my player kills? Zero. Hmm. Number of deaths, four. So I'm up to four deaths on this world. Don't remember any of them, except for this last one right now. But I imagine there's going to be a couple of stupid falling off high things deaths, because I'm pretty good for that. Ooh, I'm pretty filled up here. Um, I'm going to throw some of this. I think there's an ender chest over here. If I remember right, I put it in a really stupid place. I'm going to make a bridge over here so I don't have to jump over to Badlands like this and hope. Yeah, there's a stupid place. Oh, fuck, I got that stuff in it. Um, so I'm going to fill up my inventory with sand, smelt some of it, and um, probably do a little bit of work and just say my last goodbyes because the day after tomorrow um, is going to be 1.9 and I'm not going to switch over to 1.9 mid video so I'm going to finish this video and uh, look forward to derping around 1.9 alright guys it's a little bit later than I had originally thought in the video length so um, we're basically going to get bye bye but I have decided I don't know if I forgot if I told you this in another clip that I'm going to do the glass walls at the water temple with blue glass initially I was thinking eh well it's at the ocean you know you're gonna be looking through the glass into the ocean and it's not gonna I won't need the blue glass but you know if everything in my world is gonna be blue <laughs> I'm gonna need some uh, follow through with it and get some blue glass so Let's break up my the end of my lapis. My lapis chest is completely empty. Let's see. I got 12 in my emergency stash for enchanting. So there's my glass burning. Um, getting my fill with glass. Got some sand to burn there also. Then we're going to have to collect sand to drain the put the hole in the ocean but it's all in the future so I got 8 16 17 oh 24 25 stacks of blue glass there um it's not gonna be enough so I'm gonna have to go mining before I even do that anyways this is it for 1.8 in this world Next episode will be in 1.9. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first episode in 1.9, I'm going to go around and make sure everything works. It's not going to be a build episode. It's going to be more of a, let's see what's changed. And remember, if it's not too late, because I know this video is coming out a couple of weeks after 1.9 comes out, don't forget to back up your world before you upgrade. That's it for KMA's Corner. Jams, just another Minecraft series. Yep, just another Minecraft series. Have a good day. It's Keith. Good day. Goodbye. Au revoir. A tout à l'heure. See you in 1.9 world.